Hey there everyone and welcome back to more Raven 3. You're probably wondering, what am I doing back here in Clearly Forest 1? Well, no particular reason. But I just want to say what the heck we're actually going to do in this part because I did say that we're going to do something different instead of going through the main adventure. I'm going to show you a few neat little things exclusive to the PC version that, well, are pretty weird and odd and things like that. <laughs> and then also I'm going to show you how glitchy this game actually is. Now as a disclaimer, a lot of these glitches are only really possible to do reliably with normal frame rates. And this game runs at 60 frames per second. And when I record, usually the frame rate is about 36. And that makes a lot of glitches, well, let's just say very annoying to do and successfully that is so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and go to these special little thingies shall we all right so all the way back over here in the very beginning of the game you're going to see something that you can do and that is if you hold enter, you actually stop in place when you're using Murphy right here. I'm pretty sure that's only in the PC version, which is, you know, kind of a bizarre thing. And I figured it out myself, but it's just kind of silly because you just, it doesn't serve any purpose at all. And you can't do anything with it, you just stand still. So yeah, that's silly. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show is... Um, a sort of a cheat code. So if you type in the word reverse, you're going to see that the entire screen becomes a mirror. Yup, you can actually mirror the entire game. Only the HUD is not mirrored. And um, well, it's quite an interesting way to play, actually. I got quite, kind of lost by doing this. Also, if you hit an enemy with it, you can see the screams are also mirrored, and the score that this is displayed is also mirrored. So, yeah, that's pretty silly. Now, if you want to get it back, just type in reverse again to turn it back to normal. Now, what I'm, now I'm going to do is a lot of glitches, and this is the first one that is called the Super Jump. As you see, I just got shot up all the way up into the sky. And basically how that works is if you zoom in, like if you go into first person mode and you fall um, with a certain angle, it depends on what platform you do it on. But basically if you fall off a ledge while having first person mode active, the game just kind of freaks out because the, they never expect you to be able to do that. And so what happens is, you just kind of get shot up. And well, as you saw, I skipped a lot of this level. <laughs> so yeah. And here there's another example. This is actually the very first super jump you would do in speedruns. But as you see, sometimes it doesn't always give you the right results. Like over here, you're going to see I'm not going to get enough height. Like sometimes that's just a thing that happens. Some you can also sometimes get super fall, which is basically the same thing as super jump, except that you get shot downwards. So yeah, super jumps can be kind of finicky at, at times. Now over here you're going to see that I skipped hitting the barrel that Glowbox is stuck in. You can see it right over there, right below Murphy. Now here I'm going to do something that's called a rolling super jump, or RSJ for short. Uh, it's basically similar to super jump, except that what you do is you roll off of a ledge and then roll back on it. And the game, again, doesn't really know what to do at that point. Also, you have to hold the sidestep button to do it, or strafing, basically. Because if you do it without it, you just drop to the ground. So you're going to see very shortly here. I get shot up all the way up. 
and I actually went over the invisible walls in around the exit, so I'm able to just fly to the exit like this. And you can see I just finished the level without hands. Now you can also use these glitches to skip entire boss fights. So this is Master Kag that we're going to skip right here. Yep, just target that cage and roll off of that um, over that hole and you just shoot up. And as you're going to see, we're behind the fence that would otherwise be blocked. And it skips the entire boss fight, so yeah. Now while I'm here, this ca this fixed camera right over here, if you jump and hold this zoom in button, or like the first person button, you can just hold it in mid-air, which makes no sense, but it, 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 it works for whatever reason. And normally you would have to buffer it by using the uh, camera mode button to do, be able to do that, but here you're just able to do it without having to do it at all. And that glitch, I'm go like how you would do it normally, I'm going to show off very shortly. Okay, in fact, we'll do it right over here. Andy's here someplace. So, basically, when you, this will only works when you're in a fixed camera. This is basically a, a mid-air glide walk. So you have to zoom in first. Then you jump and copter and then pause the game by using the camera mode button. Then you zoom in and cancel it and, and cancel the camera mode button and then activate it again. Then you hold jump and then you just kind of fly like this. You have to hold the jump button, otherwise you'll fall again. And as you see, you're just able to just kind of glide up walls. It kind of depends on how the wall is designed. Like sometimes you just kind of can't do it. Like you can't just glide up it. Also while I'm here, I'm going to show something that speedrunners call a wizard skip. Except I'm gonna do it in a different way. So basically, if you lock on to an enemy that, or like if you hit an enemy while it's in its intended range, outside of its intended range, the hoodoo does not protect him at all. So yeah, that's kind of silly. All right, right over here, I'm going to do the midair glide walk again, but here I'm going to show you a different thing you can do with it. This is actually kind of tough to do with low frame rate actually, so this took me quite a few tries. But basically what you can do with this, you can clip through walls, as you see right here. And you could just get that cage early, without having to kill the hoodlums or go through that laser part. And in that case I kind of had to spin in circles in order to make it work. But like for some you just kind of can drop down because you basically just hit the uh, invisible wall or you already went past it. Now here I'm going to do something similar to the midair glide walk except here I don't copter to activate it. Instead you just do that. And it allows you to just jump up. You can also just do it from the ground which I'm going to show off very shortly but you can also do it off of trampolines. Now the only warning about these, about the, about the midair glide walk and the, and that thing I just did right there, if you already grabbed a ledge beforehand, then this glitch will not work. So I'm going to show you right over here. This is this is another instance where you can shoot up the same way, except that you hold the camera mode button and just jump and hold uh, release jump at the same time. And it does not require you to uh, use the camera mode button at all. And this you're able to do regardless of whether you grab the ledge or not. In fact, if you get here and skip the fairy cutscene, you actually have to hold grab a ledge again to actually do it again here. For whatever reason. As you can see right here. Here, here I don't even need to, like, I can just hold the, the first person mode button to actually just fly up like that. And then here you're going to see an instance uh, of the 
moon glide where you just do it from the ground. And yeah, that's what it's called, moon glide. Well, I said the ones from the trampoline where you don't need to use the camera mode button, that's called a moon bounce. But it's basically pretty much the same thing. Also, you can actually just... You know that you need Globox uh, plum juice b bubble to actually get up here. Well, turns out you don't have to do that at all. You can just jump up here and just have to not to worry about it. Now here we're going to show something quite unique. And uh, this is probably the most annoying glitch to do in speedruns. Not only to trigger, but also the properties that it gives you are quite annoying. Especially on the PC version. Or rather, if you play with a keyboard. So, if you hit a cage that was not hit before, and you hit the camera mode button at the same time, you get something that's called playable camera mode, or PCM for short. And as you see, I have the camera mode active, but also gameplay, the normal gameplay mode at the same time. So this gives some really weird results. First of all, when you see this, the camera just kind of does weird things. And then where the yes or no option, it's just normal. Now, the problem with this is, if you, you if PCM is active, you cannot pr um, select the yes option during this are you sure thing. Because if you do, you basically cancel the glitch. Now, based and also, if you, like, there's also some instances in which you can heavily screw yourself over while doing this glitch. Um, for example, in this area where I skip Begonia X entirely, if I were to accidentally exit Begonia X's room the wrong way, I would end up back at where I just came from, and then I would basically be forced to walk in one direction the whole time until I cancel the glitch. And that can be quite problematic. So yeah, PCM, it's it's useful, but it's very dangerous at the same time. Alright, so here we're gonna show another instance of PCM. You can actually also get PCM off of just the beginning of the level by hitting the camera mode button, like, as soon as the level starts. But here I'm gonna show something different and this was actually discovered only a few weeks ago actually so if you get hit by a Kanaran and pause the game you basically get control again and if you have the camera mode active as the teensy stops talking you just get PCM automatically and yeah I did it pretty quickly there because as you see, like wh when the teensy uh, appeared, you're actually able to pause the game, and when you unpause, you can hold the camera mode button. And when the teensy speech ends, if you have the camera mode button active, it just gives you it. It's supposed to regain, let you regain control of Rayman. And well, if you have camera mode b uh, active, it will still do that. So you just get. Gameplay mode and camera mode at the same time, yet again. So, if you think these glitches are really intimidating and everything, well, no worries. There's other ways to skip a lot of the game. Remember that. Remember that ledge that we had to go get onto from the very beginning of the level. Well, you can just jump to it. Yup, I just skipped the entire level. I I skipped the entire arena that was like beyond here or like you know, the, uh, the area that's almost like around the side. So yeah, you can just skip the entire thing there. And you don't even have to do any glitches, which really proves how well designed this game actually is. It's quite hilarious. And there's a lot of other, like, there's a lot of other things you can skip without glitches. So yeah, this game just doesn't even care. So here I'm going to show an instance of a glitch that was pretty old, but the only problem here is it's actually kind of useless in the PC version, um, at least in this area in particular. So you see this fixed camera right up here, right? It, it follows the little tower thing. 
Well, what we're going to do is we're going to hit that fixed camera and trigger this next cutscene at the same time. Which gives some strange results. So as you see, the camera kind of spazzed out there. And basically what that's, this gives you is infinite power of glitch, uh, or IPG for short. Um, unfortunately for the PC version, this does only te work temporarily. As you see, the the cutscene bar is went away shortly after. But normally, in other, every other version, what would happen is the bars would just stay there and it allows you to just have power-ups infinitely because the the timer for the power-ups never expires. So there's also another glitch you can do in, in this game which is called a camera buffered super jump which is basically the same as a super jump except that you use the camera mod button to buffer it and it gives different results but this is only possible in the GameCube version. So yeah, that's all I'm going to show off for this video. If you want to see more, there's going to be a marathon pretty soon called ESA. And this game is going to be speedrun there. So if you want to see more glitches, well, you gotta go there. I'll have a link in the description so you can check it out. And I don't know what date it is on, but anyway, I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part when we finally finish the game. See you guys later.